We're going back to New Zealand for another century by an Indian batsman. It is Boxing Day of 1998 and the match is at Wellington. And this is the uh, series which uh, saw some extraordinary batting from both sides. India won the toss and batted. They scored 208. A little bit disappointing that. In reply, New Zealand 352. So the lead, 144. In their second innings, India 112 for three and in walked Sachin Tendulkar. He's gone over the top, there's no third man in, and the two of them walk. And that's a controlled shot. Yes, you can actually see him think about leaving it. Down he comes, and away it goes. Well, he's not going to allow the bowler to establish any superiority. Well, the Indian batsman so confident with the lofted shot against the spinners, especially this man. See there. Picked it up beautifully. And nearly carried all the way. Well, he put it up there. And it's gone. Well, the reason he shifted his line to off stump was because he was lofted when he ball on middle and leg but it really doesn't make any difference to the batsman this one is on off stump as per instructions still it goes the same way but this time longer for six for Sachin beautifully played and that's off to the fence too wide for Meisman and Tendulkar cashes in. I think Wiseman is uh, now thinking a bit because he got lofted when he pitched it on the off stump and this is a little too wide and short and Indians most comfortable with the square cut and very good at finding gaps. Well, he's through the covers for four more. Over tossed. This was again off stump, but perfectly over pitched. And he always looks so good playing that cover drive. Unprotected down there at third man. And India are now in front. Oh, that's a terrific shot. He doesn't need to run for that. Just nicely stroked. Nobody plays the straight drive better than Sachin Tendulkar in modern cricket. Really just a push once again like Sauro Ganguly. Not much of a follow through but the timing brilliant. Absolutely exquisite timing there. Down the track and just wide of mid on. It was in the air. first boundary of the morning here this is so typical of Sachin Tendulkar he's had an appeal made against him of the previous ball and he wants to correct that balance get the balance in his favor go for the attacking shot and that's driven handsomely through the offside there is a deep point but he can only be a spectator you see it's a good length ball it's not a half volley not a regulation half volley it's a good length ball and that's why this little champion is so special. He's driven a good length ball, turning ever so slightly from him for a boundary to bring up his half century. And down the track again, and another boundary. Yes, look at the way he's gone down the pitch. Maybe slightly premeditated because the ball was flatter. That's excellently placed. He's always on the lookout for runs, Tendulkar. The important thing is, of course, as far as Tendulkar is concerned, he knows exactly where the fielders are. He knows that the fielder is squarer, not finer, so he's helped the ball along finer. 
with the turn. Got it away beautifully, just forward of square. And the batsmen have time for three runs. It's a long way out to that boundary. And three runs for Tendalka. Down the pitch he comes, charging, and he's hit that way over the top. Magnificent shot from Sachin Tendulka for six to bring up his 17th Test 100. century from Tendulkar as India scored 356 in their second innings but it really was the uh, first innings disappointment with Azza's century in that 208 that was the problem after winning the toss and New Zealand scoring the runs required with Craig McMillan 74 not out and New Zealand winning by four wickets and uh, that little trip to New Zealand brings us uh, to the end of this edition of Super Centuries hope you enjoyed watching till the next time it's